the trial tonight. A little bit of an exclusive for you. One person has dropped out of the trial. Who do you no. think it is on medical oh, grounds? Stanley. It's not Stanley. <gasps> it's actually Rebecca. So it she's is. dropped out. So it's now gone. She's to... got a shellfish allergy, hasn't she? It's not about so that. I think she was a bit shellfish in the, the trial that she did the other day. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's more the fact that she's getting dizzy spells, so she can't do this trial on medical grounds. Oh. So that's the main reason why she's not doing it. So it's fallen to the third person who's got the highest amount of votes. It's fallen to Kez. Kez is going to be doing it with Stanley. Oh. Stanley fans are over the moon because obviously we haven't seen Stanley because mm. of medical yeah, grounds. Yeah, great. So I don't think he's going to do that well, though. I've got Why? a feeling, I'm going to be honest, I think it's a really hard trial. It involves him on a plate spinning around while Kez is inside a cage with loads of critters and he's got to throw a ball into a hole. Have they sent you anything? I've got a little clip. Do you have want to you? see it? Yeah, yeah, Let's yeah. have a look. I think it's really tough. Stanley, there's a couple in there already. Yeah, I got one. OK, I've got one ball. England play penalties worse. Oh, there was Stuart That's Pierce. half your time gone. Well, I just threw one. You missed it, Stanley. Come on, keep right. going. There's no urgency. There's no urgency. Uh, there's another one. OK, I'll Come on, Stanley. On. There it is. Come on. This is it. It's like a penalty at the World Cup. Go for it. Missed. He missed. <laughs> it's <laughs> pitch oh, back in there. really tough. I think it's way that's too ridiculous. hard. I see, I don't like those ones where it's not a challenge of the mind yeah. where you have to over, like, just do it. Yeah. That's, that's just like too hard. Physical. I don't like that. Well, so I'll show you, laying flat so you can't see properly. Yeah. It's quite hard to get the balls. You've got to find the balls. And it's dark. Yeah. It's way see, too one, hard. One part of the challenge too many, I think. Yeah, but I think that's... Listen, that's... that might be a red herring. For all we know, they've done really well. That could those those could be yeah. the only two they missed. That's very very true. I know. I hope so. I don't think it is. No. Uh, but anyway, listen. Uh, tensions are rising in the camp. Did you see Kez and Amir? Mm. I think we had a little bit of log gate going on. Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know what's going to happen there because I just think, you know, when you're in the jungle, you literally any job that you've got, you literally that is your job. So when you see anyone else doing, like I really loved cooking. So when anyone touched the cooking, I was like, I really got my back up because there's I nothing else to do. I think you shouldn't go anywhere near the cooking. If, if I was really? filming one of these shows, I think the cooking is just a world of trouble. I think stay away from it. Don't get involved with everyone else. I would not go near that cooking pot. But if you're a good cook, like Doesn't I matter. saw them with that, Doesn't that kangaroo it tail. Doesn't matter. arguments they, anything else. Yeah, true. But they they didn't cook that kangaroo tail right. They should have chopped it up mm. and boiled it up. They didn't do it right. Or so they should have. That annoyed they me. Have had the patience and slow roasted it over a period of time. Oh yes. See, and and it that would have been dropped nice. off the bone. I'd have rather yeah. eaten rice and beans. Now, obviously, we're talking about insects, the jungle. There is now insect bread. OK, now I know how you like a little trial. So we've got a little trial now. You up for it? I know. Definitely this not. is insect oh, it bread. It doesn't look like insect. No, it doesn't. Well, it's, there's 70 house crickets in this. They're all dried down, grinded up and turned into flour. Have a taste. Come on, I'm going to go. I'm going to go for it. It just tastes like bread, Holly. Have know. a little taste. I'm telling you right now, you will not know. And apparently, in the future, we're going to be eating more insects because they're very high in protein. They've got oh, calcium. I know, you won't though, know. You will know, not know. Will not know. know. No, 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 do it. I know. For the first Sorry. time, just do it. Oh, just it's lovely, do it. Holly. I'm not on the you telly can't and you're tell. not going to get fed tonight. Holly, it's lovely. It's got vitamin ah! B12. You've done it. Well done. It's got bugs in it. But it tastes you like can't bread. Taste them. Paris, very good for you. <laughs> right. <laughs> Becky Vardy was uh, once again at the centre of the story last night, this time for very different reasons. Here she is talking candidly about some of the things that she's been through in her past. <laughs> Suicide so, is the biggest killer of men yeah. between... I tried it when I was younger. Oh, wow, sick. that's incredible. Yeah. I'm oh, sorry oh, to hear that. This was like when I was about 14. Oh, dear. Yeah. Wow. Did you get help? No. Because it, when I was that age, it was like something that was just pushed under the carpet. Really? Because I had really bad post um, postnatal depression with yes. my second. It's like Pandora's box opens, and when that opens, you have to deal with it. I've, I've heard that it sometimes hits women after the second child. This. Yeah, and it was kind of a knock-on effect after that. I had counselling, I was on antidepressants for a while. And then all of a sudden things just start getting better because you learn to deal with things. Mm. You learn that you can't just put them yeah, in I your back pocket. I think talking about it is You need a big to talk thing, and talking's really good and yeah. it helps you overcome so many yeah. things. 
So we are joined now by Becky's close friend and former uh, Jungle contestant Nicola McLean. So what have you thought when you've watched her? Well, obviously last night was a great one for her. We got to see her vulnerability and got to see why maybe her face is always a resting you-know-what face. I think that I've loved it and I've loved her and I think that, you know, she's not coming across as the funny Bex that I know because she isn't going to do a toff and laugh about everything. That's not what she's about. I love toff, but Becky's not that girl. She's got no um, reality TV training. She's not used to it. So, you know, when she cracks a joke that is banned to her, everyone at home's going, she's being rude. No, she just doesn't really care if you find her funny or not. She's just like, it was a joke. If you didn't get it, cool. She's not going to make sure you got it, you know?